coding Google Apps Script allows me to pull assignments from Google Classroom, update them in a spreadsheet, and push them out to another class. So the way to do that is go to alicekeeler.com slash classroom level up. I'm going to make a copy. Now with anything that I've coded, it could take a minute for the code to actually load. So we're going to go to the add-on menu, but you just got to give it a little time to let it show up. So once the code is loaded, you'll notice at the bottom is GC Level Up Game, and you're going to show the sidebar. You're going to authorize. allow. Now you're not giving me permission to anything. You have made a copy so you are the owner and you're giving yourself access to your own documents. And the sidebar is going to show up and you can click setup, import classes. It's going to let you know how many classes that you have. You probably don't have as many as me so you can just put OK but I'm going to say that I only want 20 of them. And it's going to list all of your classes with a check mark. So the first thing you want to do is select the current class. I'm going to select this for a sample. I'm going to set the class and import the roster. Now even though I don't have any students in this class yet, that's okay. It still has some things that it does in the background that we need. So then it says, do you want to set up the level up game? So we're not going to get into that this time. If you want to create your class where students, as they submit work, they level up like a game, you can say yes, but we're going to say no. No game. And now what this does is gives you options for assignments that you can post to your class. So if you want to ask a question, you can click ask. And it's going to push assignments to your Google Classroom if you'd like to originate them here in the spreadsheet. But you'll notice down at the bottom so what we want to choose out of that list, you can push assignments to your class, but what you want to do is we want to list assignments from a previous class. So the top options are making new assignments, and then I want to grab some from a previous class. Now it's important that I select the class that I want to reuse from. So you're going to go to the class tabs of the class, and then the class that I want to reuse assignments from, make sure you only have one class selected. I've already set my class so I can uncheck the current class and then check the one that I want to reuse from and choose list assignments. Once it's pulled in all of the assignments from that class, you get a little pop up and you're going to be able to read the assignments from the spreadsheet and you can edit it right in the spreadsheet. So my best tip that I can give is I always number all of my assignments. But of course, last year's numbers don't necessarily match this year's numbers. So in the spreadsheet, double click and just edit and say, oh, well now this is number five. I want to say something else. I can edit the description and I can edit the title and checkbox the assignments that I want to assign. I can assign more than one at a time. So select the assignments that you want to reuse. And then in the sidebar, it says reuse assignments. If the sidebar is not visible where it allows you to reuse the assignments, you would go to add-ons, GC level up game. And if you choose create assignments, you have the option to reuse assignments here or it's also 
here in the sidebar. So I'm going to click Reuse Assignments. And do I want to save them as a draft? So notice I selected a whole bunch. And with my code, if you say no, it'll just post them all without you having to go in and have a draft for each one and click on each one separately. So I'm going to say yes, post them as a draft. So let's go over to the Google Classroom class and you'll see that they are all posted as a draft at the top. I'm able to drag them to the topics that I want them to be in. Three dots, choose edit, and manipulate the assignment before I actually assign it out to students for how many points and due dates and all those things that I may want. But I'm able to do multiple of them at once and it makes no copies of the attachments because they're not attached, they're links from Drive. 